Welcome to Pacific Pulse, I'm Tanya Nugent in Sarawak, Malaysia on the island of Borneo, home of the incredible Rainforest World Music Festival. It's just a short journey from the bustling city of Kuching to the base of Mount Santabong, where once a year, sounds from around the world fill the air. The idea for the Rainforest World Music Festival came um, from me tracking through the jungles of this whole region, trying to record traditional music uh, for a record label in Europe. I just saw that there's this place is full of beautiful music, gorgeous music, but nobody was doing anything with it. In fact, because of the, the culture that was associated with, there was a number of things, the head hunting, it was just dying. So I thought, well, okay, let's recontextualize it into performance music and put on a festival. So that's basically how it came out. I went to the tourist board and they said, yeah, sounds like a good idea. Since then, it's just growing every single year. In 2011, there were 20 different acts, bringing musical traditions from every continent. I like traditional musical instruments. I want instruments that um, are, uh, some that are surviving in the culture and popular, but also rare and unique instruments that may be endangered. I'm at heart a musical instrument collector. I have over a thousand instruments in my home. I've made a career, my career, performing uh, unusual musical instruments around the world, playing with people like Aerosmith, Yes, Cranberries. Uh, so I'm very interested in musical instruments and I would like to preserve cultures. With Celtic and Polynesian roots, Scottish, Māori and Rotuman, Pacific Curls use a combination of 13 instruments in their show, including the rare Polynesian nose flute. Everyone's really strong in our cultural roots. Kim has the rhythms, she, we also do a couple of songs in Little Tumen um, language. So Sarah obviously brings the fiddle and the tunes, Scottish tunes, te reo Māori. Um, all of those kind of things come from who we are. So as long as we stay authentically true to that, then whatever fusion you come up with will always work.
Musical instruments are the voice of the culture. They contain thousands of years of, of, of people's culture. Um, and if you get rid of the musical instrument, they have no more voice. There's, there's nothing left. That's it. So they have their modern day speech maybe, but it doesn't contain all those voices of all their ancestors. So keeping musical instruments alive is very, very important for me and keeps us a diversified world, a rich diversified world. Fusing cultures and mixing the old with the new is how many traditional instruments are being kept alive. And festivals like this one are bringing these sounds to new audiences. You know, it's such an, a phenomenal, phenomenal um, festival because you have this incredible mix eh, of, mm. of culture like we did a call out and said are you who's from Australia who's from Europe and you know all these different countries and there were wars when you walk around here you can't help but just be just go every every moment is a photographic moment is held in the Sarawak cultural village so you really get to appreciate the many different styles of the region's traditional longhouses. By day the festival's two main stages remain empty but that doesn't mean that nothing's happening here. In fact this is when the heart and soul of this festival is pumping. In the cool interiors of these traditional longhouses audiences come to witness the famous Rainforest World Music Festival workshops and the chance to witness some rare one-off musical moments. So musicians can sit on stage, play with somebody from someplace in the world they've never met before and actually all of a sudden magic happens, that the, the, the jams turn into some phenomenal thing. Everybody's discovering something new, and music that you've never heard before and never will hear again appears magically on stage. So that's the whole point of this, is to create that magic. It's the first time I've actually held that stage where there's that many professional percussion players from different bands and different countries all showing their instruments and uh, playing to an audience which were really up for making it all happen, sort of like the atmosphere we, we, we created just by the percussion, um, it's going to just last with me forever. I'm loving it, I've never experienced anything like it, just to get the sheer diversity you wouldn't get anywhere else in the world I guess. Absolutely incredible, definitely top 10 things to do before you die, should be in your list, it's amazing. You've got to just say what a beautiful event this is, it's, it's incredible, I mean look, look at this for a backdrop and, and the music that you're hearing here and the people are so friendly and there's so many different cultures here and everyone is smiling and everyone is enjoying each other's company, you know whichever direction you look in there's, there's different colour, there's a different language, there's a different food behind you and, and the harmony here, the, it's just beautiful. Uh, Sarawak used to be a, a word that nobody knew. Now people know where Sarawak is. They've, everybody's heard of the Rainforest World Music Festival. If you've never been to Borneo, this is when you need to come, is this festival. It's absolutely unique and absolutely amazing. been an incredible experience. I've heard sounds I've never heard before, seen instruments played that I've never seen before, all in this amazing, breathtaking rainforest setting with the beautiful, friendly, happy people of Sarawak, Malaysia. And I hope you can make it here too sometime to the annual Rainforest World Music Festival on the island of Borneo.